Uh, thanks to old Rosso Rex. Says, I finally completed your free-to-play shaman deck and I'm psyched to try it out. Alright, go for it. It's a, uh, it's a nice deck. Generally has a favorable matchup against shaman. Hopefully it works out. This is a uh, unfavorable hand, but we'll see. A handful of uh, answers which don't answer much against an opponent is not a good hand. Well, I guess if I get Innervate Coin Yetied, um, this hand won't suck since I can double Lightning Bolt the Yeti. Ugh. Well, at least I got the totem, which improves all my spells. Come on, Druid the Claw. Where shall I strike? Goodbye, Druid. Perfect answer. Hmm, since I got the Taunt Totem, I might be willing to Flame Tongue. No, not really. It sucks that there's a Totem Basher there. The Flame Tongue Totem kills that, makes that deal too, but then I can't finish it off and it'll eventually be bad for me. I'm gonna just have to wait. Alright, he's repping that little hero ability next turn by playing that. Okay, here's actually a card. Swipe here might have been used, but didn't have to. My eyes are open. Huh. Tough call on whether or not the lightning storm here. No. Alright, nice thing that I have a 1-1 one, one to just make that a Yeti. Uh, and then I can kill it with one Lightning Bolt. Very nice. I love the 5 damage Lightning Bolts. But Shaman doesn't. Searing Totem did work also. Way to go, Totem Crew. One mana, deal five damage. Wow, astounding. Innervate hero ability. No? Okay. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That wasn't a great turn, but Harvest Golem sure is annoying. Not convenient. Though I had another way to answer it. But that's slightly better. Might be the type who runs the Ancient of Wars, uh, since he's got the Sunwalkers. I haven't seen any Wild Gross, but they might just not have been drawn. Um, currently, I don't have an easy answer against the Ancient of War. Yeah, I have sort of a easy answer, I guess. Argent Commander Flame Tongue would sort of do it. All right, I've drawn I think four out of the uh, top end of my deck, 
so could be tough moving forward. And this is uh, probably the strongest I'm going to get. Nice to get the air shock against the eventual um, Ancient of War, which might or might not come. For now, this board position looks very strong. Hopefully it holds, because my hand and the stuff that's coming from the future of my deck is I going to look pretty grim. I don't think I can afford to clear Ysera. I can kill Ysera, lose the Argent Commander, mm. or I can risk it all. This is not an obvious choice. If I get the healing totem, it'll lean me more towards clearing you, Sarah. Alright, that might have been the tipping point. Victory or death. No point in silencing you, Sarah, because uh, I don't think his next card draw will matter. I'm gambling on it ending the next turn. The gambles. Oh, it's going to be really close. I think I got it. Barely to the finish line. Whew. Oh boy, a hunter. Very scary matchup. I think I might actually want to keep Flame Tongue Totem. It makes the normal totems not suck. I'm going to experiment with this one. I usually throw that one back, but my experience might lead me to believe that Flame Tongue Totem is good. Two of them, though. Mm. Thanks, Joe, for the donation. Leaves a message question of if you had Alec here, what would you replace for it in your deck? And the answer is currently nothing. Alec here, Bloodlust. Flame Burst, they all serve the general purpose of making your matchup better against control at the cost of it being worse against aggro. So you have to make a judgment call on whether or not that's worth it. And it's not easy. This hand is terrible. Just so incredibly bad. Although I guess I'll find out how good Flame Tongue Totems are in this matchup. My guess was that they aren't that bad because they can help out the normal totems. I hope my hypothesis proves correct. That was a lot of thinking to shoot me. I wonder if there was actually thinking involved? Or... I don't know. Point out Yeti the next turn. Never mind, Flame Tongue it is. Maybe Flame Tongue Normal Totem? Oh. Well, that's convenient. Somewhat. I did get the two totems, which are worthless on their own, which is a problem. Okay, this makes them non-worthless. It's like I got dogs. This will have to do. It's slightly better than the flame tongue, but I am concerned because uh, this is more guys than I would like to have on the field against the doggies. If forced to, though, if for some reason 
he doesn't clear one of these guys or play a guy. I think I will press on the pressure of Fire Elemental. Oh yeah, that means it's more controlly of a deck. Although I suppose I could tell that already by being on turn 5 and being at over 20 health. Zerp says, hey I see that you went to New York University, I'm currently a sophomore there. High five. Uh, I was wondering what your experience was like. Hmm. Well, New York University is a very unique campus, as I'm sure you already know by being a sophomore there. Right in the heart of the cold and bleak New York City. I have to admit, I much prefer being in the uh, warm and sunny Bay Area. So in terms of being scared of this city, it's pretty terrifying. In terms of my time there, it was pretty cool. I got my two powerhouses out against the hunter. Let's just bash his face in. Ooh, deadly shot. The double deadly shot would be quite deadly. That's not bad. It's not bad for either side. You really efficiently removed both of those. Uh, and he's clearly a more control type of hunter. I tend not to be as scared of these since the matchup is uh, less bad. Four, six, eight, eleven, fourteen. Surprisingly close. Three, five, seven. Ah, both doggies have been used. It's time for the totem power to come. Three. Yes. This taunt totem will hopefully protect my face from the tiger. And even if it doesn't, I'll have to use removal for this totem, which is good. Hey, something to actually hex against the hunter. Six, nine, twelve. So if that's explosive trap, I'll win. I mean, I win if I attack this no matter what trap it is, I believe. Six, nine, twelve, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Nice. 6, 9, 12, 15. It's like, I'm always a bit shocked when I win against the hunter. I'm like, oh, wow. Alright, back to one. Oh, smiling mug of the innkeeper. I missed you, sir. I will fight with honor. For Doomhammer. Hmm, Paladin. Do I want to keep both of these? I think Paladins have stuff that is 3 health, and I don't want to overload quite that early. I'll keep one of the guys. This hand is pretty bad, but if it's a control Paladin, then I won't mind too much. <laughs> Mana Tide could be a good play on turn 3. Maybe. The light nope, not Control the Paladin. Eh, it's hard to say. I mean, Argent, Coin Argent. Okay, it's not Control. Eh, it's still a little hard to say. But almost certainly not. That's really obnoxious. It's really tough to deal with Divine Shield as a uh, mm. Shaman with no one damage hero ability. Pretty much the only answer is Earthshock. Which is the dream, but you can always draw it. Oh, he kept this alive. He must have been thinking about whether or not he wanted to remove it. Ooh, interesting choice. 
Axe versus weapon. With the weapon, I get an extra totem, and the chill one yeti gets to come out the next turn. It's the slightly quote unquote worst play, but it's better in the future. Actually, it's the better immediate play, which is more important. And it's better the next turn as well. Rowan Bailey asks, Trump, yesterday I got a Sylvanas in a pack. Should I keep her or disenchant and create a faceless? Help, please. So these type of answers can never be answered because or these type of questions can never be answered because I don't know your deck playing style. Um, Sylvanas is a good card. Blah 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 blah, among many other things. The Chill and Yeti has a chance of get uh, True Silver plus this axe. Flame Tongue could clear off the Argent, and then this heals back, and the Flame Tongue isn't immediately in danger. And then I play the Yeti next turn. Oh, that seems alright. I think I do this only because the healing totem and heals itself. And also I only do this because it's an aggro deck. Apparently the most aggro of aggro decks even. Which makes Lightning Storm a great card. But I don't think it's uh it's yet time. When is it time? I yeah, let's see. I considered hitting one of the divine shields off. But chose not to. His hand looks like it has a reasonable chance. And I was fearing the uh, true silver plus the. Oh! To the face! Okay. In some ways, that's even scarier. In some ways, it's less scary. I think I'm going to want to take one less damage. So the key cards here are going to be, um, maybe I'm already dead with Leroy, but Wolves and uh, Argus and Taunt Totem. Divine Favor, not unexpected in a deck like that. It's partly why I played the hand very fast as well. By attacking me twice with that, he might be repping that he has another one. Which means I need to taunt immediately. One in three. Ugh, I think that means I lose. Maybe. It's hard to say for sure, but... I would guess that I lose. by a significantly larger margin. Although, the top of it might have saved me. Too bad. Alright, Control Warrior. Well, presumably Control Warrior. I look forward to this matchup. It's a nice, uh, relaxing one. This matchup, I found, uh, is a lot better for the shaman than it was for the mage. And I can't use two spells on the frothing, and yet, yet I don't have a perfect answer. Lightning Bolt is the perfect answer here. Uh, what else would be good? Yeti would be good. Unbound is quite risky, but it seems to be my best answer. Rockbiter Earth Shock is out of the question. Azure Drake as an answer is reasonable. Armor made to fit. Okay. Very good result for me there. Nice to draw uh, both the Azure Drakes early. 
They are uh, going to give me a lot more options down the line. Hmm. You don't see every uh, warrior control deck running Arjun Commander. It's slightly different. Chrono Elite. That's also slightly different. It's a bit more aggro-y. That's probably good for me because it means uh, probably one less big legendary I have to deal with. I don't know which one it'll be, but one of them. Probably. I don't mind this health total difference at all. We'll just play it for the long game. Two, four, seven. Might be worth earth shocking should I get the totem. Oh, okay. Worth. And then I'll take this turn slowly. Whoops. Give him an extra armor. Whatever. Enjoy. I lost track of his armor, anyways. Okay, I have the choice of killing that with just the rock biter. Can Argent plus rock biter it? Um, let's see. If I take the seven, I'll go from twenty-four down to fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, which is not a bad number. He's already used most of his charges as well. I think I could legitimately take that damage, but one problem is he might not be running Alexstrasza, especially if he's running all those charging guys. So I will uh, choose not to take the damage. This is a more traditional deck I'd really uh, consider attacking that with my axe. While the chat is uh, yelling the Hex, that's out of the question. The Hex can only be used on Ragnaros or Ysera this late in the game. Or maybe Alex Straza. Um, I'm a little bit reluctant to play Fire Elemental, but I suppose it's okay. It's nice to use that as part of removal. Having to put some pressure on him and passing this turn is a little bit sucky. The problem is the Brawl, and unfortunately I lost both of my big guys. But, uh, he's brawling two minions, which is okay. I unfortunately can't Earthshock. There's uh, still the Cairn to go. And Earthshock needs to be saved for Cairn, as I've already used one. So I guess the alternative is to give him two cards, which I don't like. I could Lightning Bolt it. It's reasonable. Down the slam, yeah. For the war chief. Huh, two core chrono leaps. Interesting. He's got some um, hybrid deck. Oh. 
think he's gotten rid of most of his one damage abilities. Um, but just in case, I guess. Do I add two Korkrons to this deck plus uh, two? What was that other card? I can't remember. I dream and the world trends. Rip one one totem, I guess. That's fine. Hmm, not sure whether or not I want to ooze that or wait for Gorehal. I mean, if I draw the second ooze, it'll be an easy decision. Plus, there's not many car- oh, okay. Don't think the Flame Tongue Totem is worth playing quite yet for 4 damage. Uh, I should use it to take out a big guy. There's still Ragnaros after all. Maybe there's Ragnaros. I'm uh, starting to go under the theory that he doesn't run the Alex Straza in his deck. It's possible he doesn't run the Gorehal in his deck either. But I can't take that chance, because with the Gorehal, I could lose. Whereas that Fire War Axe is no threat right now. Gadget Zan doesn't have any deals, so not yet. This is okay for um, the Totem. The old one damage to a minion, basically. Pretty important damage. With that many minions, it seems unlikely he would be the type to run to Brawl, but I am a, a little bit uh, cautious of that, since he's a bit offbeat. Okay, probably worth one of the lightning storms now, and uh, also the gadget. I do want to draw a card despite being low on cards. Hopefully I hit the uh, four on this one. Though not essential, since I have this turn. Nope. And I'll take the taunt totem. One thing I have to keep in mind is... Uh, is that dream card hasn't been played yet. And Gromish uh, Ysera Awakens is the one thing that scares me. Uh, it'll do 15 damage. The Nightmare. I've got the beast <laughs> the big game. Side. Okay. Well, that that's, uh, makes me feel a lot better. Alright, this is it for him. Woo, 